Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create a Maven project and add dependencies to it. So in my last three videos, I've talked about Cucumber, I've talked about Jerkin syntax, I've talked about the Maven project structure. So there I have discussed about the complete concept of Maven dependencies and all. So if you have not watched those videos, watch it, because in this videos, we are going to see the practical part. And as you know, my videos are all connected to each other. So it's better you understand all of those and then get back to this Maven project structure. So in this video, basically we'll focus on the practical part. We'll see how to create projects and add dependencies to our project. Now let's first check the agenda. So in this complete process, first we'll see that how the Maven project structures we build, and then we'll see from where we can add dependencies. So the very first thing that we'll see how to create a Maven project. It's very simple. Just open your Eclipse window and perform these steps, like open the file options. In dropdown, you'll find new. From there, select to the pro project option. And then you'll find a box where you will select the project, not the Java project, but the other option that is the project option. And from there, it will take you to Maven project structure. If you talk about the structure, how it looks like, so this is how it looks. Click on file. Go to new, from new, go to the project option. Once you are into the project option, then you have to search for Maven in dialog box. Now this is how you have to search. So you'll have this search box, just search Maven, select the Maven project option, and then click on the checkbox. So there you find a checkbox that is create a simple project. So just click on that checkbox, and then you'll get an option where you have to enter your group ID and artifact ID name. So once you enter both, click the finish button, and then the project is built. Now, for adding dependencies, you need to visit this website that is httpmvnrepository.com. Basically, this is a Maven repository website. So you will go there, you'll find your repositories, add it straight away to your pm.xml file, and your project is saved. So now all of these process, we'll see practically how basically we are going to perform these steps practically. So first we'll create the project. So just to create project, we'll go to this file option. From file, we'll go to new. And from new, we'll select the project option. Now in this Dallas box, search for Maven. Once you search for Maven, you get this Maven project option. Then click on the next. Now when you click on the next button, you have these many options. So it's like you can add your dependencies straight away from the project option, but I'll prefer going through the simple project option. That is where I'll add the dependencies manually. Basically these dependencies, it's my requirement in Cucumber project is, I need dependencies related to Selenium because I'll be using code from Selenium. I need dependencies related to the Cucumber because I'm using Cucumber in my project. So these dependencies, so I will add only those dependencies this required for me, as well as I'll add a dependency from TestNG if in case needed. So now I'll click on this option, create a simple project, go to next, give the group ID and artifact ID. Now, if you are familiar with the project uh, Java project section, there basically we give the project name and as well as the package name. Now here we'll give the group ID name as well as the artifact ID. So your group ID, you can refer this one as package section an artifact ID as a project section. So just I'm giving a name to this project. So I'm right now I'm naming it as Maven project, or you can say Maven Cucumber project. That's better. Now, once you have given the name, the versions comes by default. Again, the jar packagings will be in the jar forms. Now, once everything is done, then you can click on the finish button. And once you do that, you see on the left side of your screen, you have a project built with Maven Cucumber project option. Now in my videos, as I've talked about this pm.xml file, so basically you will have this pm.xml file inbuilt with your project. So this is the pm.xml file that I'm talking about. So every project basically contains this pm.xml file in Maven. And this is the place where you will be adding your dependencies one by one. And also if you watch about the structure of this Maven project, this looks very interesting. So Maven project structure, it's like you'll see you will have different folders. Basically these folders are auto-built, just 
to those folders. You can go to those folders and use the folders based on your requirement. So now here we'll add dependencies. And as you know, that dependencies are available in Maven repository folder. So it's like, I'll, I'll go to this Maven repository folder, bring the dependencies from there and add it to our project. So, so just I'll show you how these things are going. Now, to get these repositories, you come to the Google Chrome page right here, Maven repository. Now you find this Maven repository, click here, take the first link from here that is Maven repository. And here in the search box, you have to search for the tools that you are going to add to your project. So here I'm adding Selenium Java. So I'll search for this. So once I search for Selenium Java, I get Selenium Java here. Click on the Selenium Java button. Now here, when you will open, uh, when you'll find here, you'll get lots of versions. Like you see the latest version is 4.8. So I'll not go with the latest one because the latest version is not so stable. So I'll try to go with some version that is uh, six months older or maybe a uh, year older. So basically I'll go with a uh, six month older. So let me go for 4.1.1. So this seems like the stable one, the most stable. So here, when you do this click, you find this dependencies. So this dependencies, you have to copy it from here. These, these lines of dependencies, copy it from here. Go to your pm.xml file, create a tab and name these tab as dependencies tab. So now here, this inside this dependencies tag, like you see, this is the starting point. So how this tag looks like in XML file, you will have a starting tag as well as you will have a closing tag. So now here, all the codes you have to put in between the opening part and the closing one. So all the dependencies, what you are copying, just come and put it inside the dependencies tag. So this is for Selenium. Now the next one that I'll search for here is test ng. So I'll search for test ng. Again, in case of test ng, I'll go for an older version. So uh, test ng basically right now we don't require it, but still I'm adding it like in future if we need it. So we keep it from before itself. So I'll go for an older version somewhere around, it's like 7.4.0. So again, I click on this version, copy the dependencies from here. Once copied, get back to your pm.xml file, just add it below the Selenium part. Now these two are added. Now the important part of dependency is the Cucumber one. So that's the most important. So I'll search for Cucumber this time. Now, when you search for Cucumber here, then you'll find multiple of Cucumber options. So in this case, it's very important to know that which Cucumber options we have to go for. So basically Cucumber comes with Java, Cucumber comes with JUnit. But in these two options, you find this io.cucumber as well as info.cubes. So basically these two are different links that provides the, the dependencies related to Cucumber. So I'll take the dependencies of io.cucumber as well as info.cubes in both for Java as well as JUnit. So it means that I have to copy the dependencies of all of these forts, first, second, third, fourth. So as usual, I'll go to all these forts. First one, again, I take some older version. Maybe I'll take 7.1 or I'll take 7.6, fine. So I'll take for this, I'll copy the dependencies from here. Again, get back to my pm.xml file, put it here. Now again, go back, select the second one, that is the JUnit one, copy the dependencies. Now here in this case, you'll find like 2019 is the oldest one. So no need to go for any older version, straight away copy these dependencies from here, get to pm.xml file, add it. Again, follow the same step, get back. And again, take the third one this time, and same way, take the fourth one and add the dependencies. Again, I've opened the third one. Again, I'll take the dependencies or some around the same version, the one which I've taken for the Java. I'll copy it from here, put it here. And the last, now comes the last one that is the Java one with info cubes. Now these dependencies, whatever I'm copying, basically these are the requirements. Usually you will get to know that which dependencies you'll be using for those projects. And just you have to come to this Maven repository website, 
copy these dependencies, search for these dependencies, copy it from there and put in pm.xml file. Now you see, I put all my dependencies inside this dependency stack. All the dependencies are one place. Now you have to do nothing. Once added these dependencies, just save this file. So press Control S from your system and this file gets saved. Now if you watch the lower part of your screen, you'll see it shows building 41%. So basically now your project is building. And once your project is completely built, then you'll find a file, uh, you'll find a Maven dependency, Maven dependency folder added to your project. Now, if you look into this Maven dependency, you see all the jar files are added. Now, just if you compare with the Selenium one, in case of Selenium, basically you are adding the jar files manually. Here, just add dependencies and you will have the complete jar files to your project. That's what I was talking about. And see, this is the interesting part of Maven. And that's why we prefer Maven in case of any project creations of automations. So in all the project creations, basically we go for this dependencies. This is how we configure our pm.xml file. And this is how we set up our project. Now in next video, we'll see how we can execute the complete project where we'll be creating a Jerkin syntax. We'll, we will execute them in our code. We'll look into everything. So we'll try one program and just go with a practical example and that will make a complete vision of the Cucumber clear. So keep watching my videos and stay tuned. See you in next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.